Welcome back. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee, and I uh, hope you're having a good time. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. That's how we got you covered. Welcome back. Our next guest is the president and CEO and founder of the Good News Planet, and he's here to speak about the, his storied career, shed a little bit of light on the, the work that he's doing with nonprofit organizations, and to promote the upcoming project that he is working on. So please welcome to the show, Paul Slatkis. Paul, welcome. Dr. Lee, thank you so much. You're, you're... You're historic in a great way. Oh, thank you, thank you. I hear that you're an interfaith uh, minister. Oh, uh, well, I am. Actually, it even occurred as a result of the International Day of Peace. I was uh, a producer, uh, I've been involved since 2002. We've done an event in uh, Central Park, uh, yeah. down uh, Reverend Sozana Bastavica, because uh, the United Nations declared September 21st as the International Day of Peace. Yeah, please continue speaking about your storied career. Well, so there on this peace day, September 21st, as declared by 193 countries of the world and the UN unanimously um, for a day of peace at 12 noon, the uh, desire is to have a ceasefire worldwide. Um, and uh, so we've been strengthening that message, promoting it in the sense of uh, making more people aware. They expect maybe two billion people are aware of this peace day. So we need to just keep uh, uh, working hard to keep the message out there and the awareness, you know, imagine peace said uh, Yoko Ono, and she gave that to us. In any case, uh, but with September 21st, I guess uh, tomorrow when uh, after your show broadcast, uh, we had Times Square, we were gonna, we've been doing it in Times Square also. We canceled Times Square because of the COVID concerns of, uh, open area uh, uh, unable to really you know deal with it in a, in a honorable yeah. way and uh, so we're going to broadcast a live show um, uh, from uh, from here in, in New York for the first hour starting seven o'clock we started seven o'clock because we did about 120 hours during this COVID time of uh, COVID programs out in the backyard and showing all the good positive people doing good during COVID of which, as usual, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands and millions that are the good guys, good girls doing good. And then uh, we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna go to Los Angeles and to Shenzhen, China, and broadcast a live broadcast from that area as well. So it's gonna be September 21st on goodnewsplanet.tv. Um, and that's our, our project that we're involved with focusing on right now. Yeah. Uh, Good News Planet. How did you come up with that name and uh, how did you start the organization? Well, I, I started, thanks, uh, Bob. I, I, actually, I, I'm a, I got my almost 50 years in the television business. I started yeah. CBS in 72. Uh, I had the good fortune to work on some wonderful, historic, all in the family, Sonny and Cher, Cal Burnett's. Uh, and I went and did a soap opera called Love of Life. Uh, you know, and working my way up the ladder and uh, getting just working with great people. And then I, I left there, went to Channel 13 and uh, worked on to help start the nature series, the brain series and became business manager. Um, uh, the two second story, then uh, uh, they canceled. Uh, they had a downsizing Channel 13. I went to WNYC, the city station they had in charge of marketing, where they leased out their time to foreign broadcasters. And this is back in around 85. And so uh, I started in 85, what was became a multicultural advertising and marketing company. So uh, I would help uh, and I sort of did research with St. John's University. We broke the Asian market uh, by having this research and getting in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, things like that. And so we did that started 85 and we continued on to with multicultural marketing, helping Sprints, IBM, Western Union, good companies reaching the ethnic community. So we did the Asians and the Europeans of which my ancestry is. And later on, we got to the African, uh, Africans, African-Americans, Hispanic, Latino, and Middle Eastern. And I loved it because they, they took me out to a lot of restaurants. No, and so- <laughs> <laughs> But Paul, uh, you brought a uh, rock and roll to China, I hear. I did during that time. I, uh, uh, yeah, it was during that time because I did, uh, uh, so back, uh, I, I almost got you up to 1998. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 during that time, 1988, I was, I, I 
I did the Asian amnesty program. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what the, what the U.S. Census did back in 88 was that if you were in America illegally, what you needed to do was sign in. <laughs> you had to go to the government and tell them you're here. They didn't yeah. you know, ask you to leave the country and come back or do whatever. You just needed to sign in. Um, and so I was asked, uh, I was working with a, another media company, but I represented the media directly. I made deals with the owners of it. So they get paid, I get paid a little in the media company. And so I was flying to uh, 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 Hawaii to make an arrangement so we could place advertising, the government ad advertising. In, and I was sat next to a guy named Dr. Don Allfield. And uh, Dr. Don had written, uh, uh, the, uh, it never rains in Southern California, Jan and Dean songs. And his yeah. partner was a nice Brooklyn boy called Jeff Barry. And yeah. Jeff had 200 million records. So the leader of the pack, the do run run. The leader the of the pack. You know, and so I started uh, helping to, uh, they had it all worked out. And then uh, they asked me to try to find some sponsors and advertisers uh, to go along with it. But it was impossible because you could get the advertisers, but they didn't have the products in China because the products in China got sent here. So Nike sneakers were not in China. They were in uh, New York City. So, yeah. <laughs> whatever. so then I started in 1998. After that, I started Good News Broadcast a long yeah. time ago, dot com. Some people told me you could go on the Internet. You can have a TV station, you can have a radio station, you can sell products. And ever since then, almost 23 years now, 5,000 shows later, we've been, uh, we've been promoting the world as we see it, which is positive and life affirming. You, you are the go-to guy. Everybody's coming to you. Companies, what? cities, countries. I don't charge anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's all free. Uh, so it's goodnewsplanet.tv. You can call us 212-647-1212. We're happy to share your good news. I'd be honored to. And uh, however I can help you in any manner, shape or form, the interfaith thing is just a, a, another outreach that I love to help others with. And do you have anything coming up? Well, September 21st is, the, uh, is, is our big one. That's the uh, International yeah. Day of Peace and that broadcast we hope to you know, to get to, it's going to be a very, very powerful show. We have, uh, uh, we have good corporate citizens like uh, One Eight Hundred Flowers and uh, Hugo Boss. They've done some yeah. beautiful things, helping other nonprofits. Sam Waxman, the uh, uh, Cancer I, Foundation. I don't know, just every it. lot of good people doing good things in this world, and that's what we should focus on. Thank you so much, Paul. We love you, and you're always welcome back. Thank you for all that you're doing. So I love you too, Bob. You're, 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 right. you're, you're our good news as good news can get. There you go. The Good News Planet Man, Paul Slatkus, the founder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Paul, I've got some sports coming up. Check this out. Bobby C is coming up next. He has the, the latest in the world of sports. He's up next on Open.